So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mind Boost episode number six. I hope you're all doing amazing, that you're having a fantastic and terrific day or evening, whatever time you're watching this um, or listening, if you're listening on Spotify. Um, but anyways, in today's episode, I would like to talk a little bit about dreams because I feel like, and I'm talking out of my personal experience here, when I was a little kid, right? When Adam, like, you know, little Adam was like five, six or seven years old, something like that, I remember that all the other kids around me have been talking about things like, yeah, when I grow up, I want to be a pilot. When I grow up, I want to be a successful entrepreneur. Like, you know, maybe they didn't say entrepreneur, but you know, they, they said stuff like, yeah, I want to have a lot of money and have a company, like, you know, stuff that kids are saying pretty much, right? Um, so what I'm trying to say is a lot of those people, like, you know, those kids back then have been talking about their dreams. You know, they had a lot of dreams and I think that's the fact for like, or like that's the case pretty much for almost every single kid, you know. I, I don't want to say it's the same thing or the same case for every single kid, but for most people and for most kids out there, this is the case, you know. They have big dreams, they want, they want to achieve huge things, this and that. But um, I think we can all agree on the fact that when we started to grow up, you know, when we started to kind of get a touch of the real world, you know, like maybe when we uh, finished school or like, you know, university perhaps even, right? When we kind of got into this real life for the first time, a lot of people started to realize, okay, maybe my dreams are too big. Maybe I cannot actually achieve that because I have to think realistic pretty much, right? And, you know, that's also like one of the reasons why so few people actually follow and chase their dreams. And you know, that's also the reason why so few people actually achieve their dreams, that so few people actually achieve big things, you know, things that they always wanted to achieve. And I think it, it comes down to two main things, you know, when we talk about this uh, situation. First of all, I mean, that's kind of a big one, but also an obvious one, fear, you know. People are scared to, um, to lose pretty much, you know, to not succeed, to fail, right? Because whenever you start something, something new, something that you created, you know, out of your personal thoughts, or like ideas, or like whatever it might be, there is room for failure pretty much, right? Because when you go to work or like, you know, when you are at university, like, you know, you get stuff that you need to get done pretty much. You know, if you fail, you, you, you failed, you know, but not on a scale of um, like personal failure, if you know what I mean, right? Like the amount of failure isn't as big or like as drastic as the one that you would kind of experience when you fail doing something that you created, like that you started pretty much, right? And I think for a lot of people, that's like a very, very big problem, or like a very big kind of objective that is kind of holding them back to actually starting something new, to actually following and chasing their dreams pretty much, right? And, you know, obviously fear is important, you know, because, you know, we need fear in order to survive pretty much, right? But the problem is that nowadays, like in most cases at least, you know, I'm not saying every single time, but in most cases at least, the fear that we are kind of experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis in our society is fake, you know, because we don't really have to fear, you know, death. We just have to kind of, you know, work on ourselves, work on our business, go to university, but that's not real fear, you know. Real fear is only the fear of death, you know, of dying pretty much, of, of a real threat, of a real life threat, you know. So that's like one of the biggest factors, like main factors is kind of holding people back from actually starting something, right? Um, the second thing, and that's something that I personally realized on, on my personal journey, like in the entrepreneur world, or like whatever you wanna call it. You know, a lot of people started a business or like they started, you know, a venture, like, you know, whatever it might be, because they wanted to create something, right? But sometimes, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but sometimes, you know, the thing that they started wasn't necessarily the thing that they intended to start, right? So like they kind of went off of their path, you know, of the path of their dreams. And the reason for that is quick money, you know, because I think, and I think, you know, we can all agree on that uh, because it's a fact, like nowadays we get so many ads on YouTube and Instagram, like all these other social media platforms, right? Of people that are telling you like, hey, uh, like, hey I made like 10K this day or like, you know, the last hour pretty much, right? You always hear people screaming about these numbers and these amounts of money. And obviously, you know, why should you bother following, like chasing your dreams and creating something new, something that, you know, hasn't been created yet to this date and, you know, maybe fail doing that and, you know, 
be scared of failing or like, you know, have a lot of doubts, this and that, and maybe at the end of the day, not even make any money at all. Why do that when you can just, you know, fall like a copy paste scheme of like, you know, doing business and just doing that and making quick money pretty much, right? And that is like a very, very big thing that I personally realized, you know, in this business world, entrepreneur space world, industry, whatever you want to call it once again, that a lot of people, you know, like those kind of people that always wanted to create something and that actually, you know, stick to that, but then they didn't stick to their dream, to their, you know, ultimate goal or like dream because the, the temptation of quick money, of easy money was bigger than their desire to achieve their own, their own goals and dreams. And that's also a very, very big thing. And I think you really have to be aware of those two factors because those two factors at the end of the day will you know, de determine if you actually see success following your dreams or not, right? Um, yeah, so like, by the way, I wrote down some things on my, uh, in my journal, so um, that's why I'm looking down. Another point that I wrote down, um, dreams will make you happy, you know? I guess that's like, you know, a pretty obvious thing, but you know, like, like a lot of times in life, sometimes, you know, it's like the, the obvious things that are, that have the biggest impact on you. And it's the same thing, you know, in this situation, like in this case, because when you truly follow your dreams and when you really do what you want to do, like I can guarantee you because like, you know, right now I'm talking out of my personal experience, you will never feel like working, you know, you will never feel like struggling mentally, like whatever, because everything you do, gives you so much joy and happiness because you are truly doing what you want to do. You're creating something that, you know, started like as a small thought in your head maybe, and now it's like, you know, reality in, in this physical, you know, world, you know, that we call, uh, that we call Earth. Um, so, you know, whatever you do, like, please keep in mind that following your dreams and chasing your dreams, and, you know, at the end of the day, eventually even uh, accomplishing those things and, you know, creating those things, succeeding with doing those things will make you very, very happy. And that kind of, you know, correlates with the first thing about the quick money thing, because I mean, sure, like, you know, short term, you may be able to make way more money doing like, you know, a copy paste business, like in like some kind of online guru told you about, but long term, that's not the goal, you know, because you won't be happy doing that. Because when you truly follow your goals, or like your dreams, like when you create something that you wanted to create, sure, maybe short term, you, you, you won't see any success whatsoever. And like, you know, people around you, will make 10, 20, 30, 40K per month, and you won't be doing anything. So that can, you know, really, really break you down sometimes, but you have to keep in mind that when you stick through that, and when you come to the point of actually achieving, you know, those things that you wanted to achieve with doing what you wanted to do, with doing something you want to do, actually, you will be way more happy, I can guarantee you that. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, kind of a last thing, you know, because I don't want this episode to be too long, uh, that I wrote down here is, um, it takes time. I mean, I kind of talked about it already, um, but when you really, you know, create something new, something that hasn't been done maybe, or like you know, that hasn't been done in that exact way pretty much, it can take a lot of time. And, you know, obviously it's pretty natural and obviously you will experience a lot of ups and downs, you know, on this path to actually achieving those things. I mean, that's kind of normal, right? I mean, you have to kind of expect it when you're starting something new. That, that's always the case. Um, however, you shouldn't, you know, expect to start something like, you know, like, let, let's take an example, right? Let's say you want to start like, uh, I don't know, like a, a hair product company, like, you know, whatever, like, let's take this as an example. Let's say you want to start a hair, you know, product uh, company that is doing something very unique. You know, I, I'm not too much, you know, uh, interested, like, you know, too much, um, experience in this field in particular so please excuse me that i don't have like a very very good example but let's say you have something special something that makes you your brand like really really crazy unique right um so you have this idea and you know you think like okay yeah i'm gonna start this like you know next week people will love me people will admire what i do people will fall in love with my products with the brands and i will become a millionaire overnight pretty much right I mean, first of all, sure that can happen, you know, like, and if that happened to you, like, you know, if this will happen to you, then, you know, huge congratulations, but it's not the norm, you know, and you have to understand that following your dreams and creating something that you want to create takes time, you know, you have to like take the time or like, you know, you have to kind of be okay with the time that it takes to build something, you know, to build something long-term. You have to 
expect to kind of wait in a way you know you cannot expect to start today and be super successful and rich like in one week after starting out pretty much right and that is also like one of the reasons because i kind of experienced that like uh, lately in my you know close circle like in a surroundings whatever you want to call it you know the people started something and they didn't see the success that they kind of expected at the beginning and they immediately like felt miserable you know they lost all the motivation they you know didn't have any ideas like everything kind of you know vanished like that just because the success wasn't there at the start right even though like you know around those people like you know when they checked instagram or like whatever they've seen those you know people that i mentioned at the beginning that have been doing crazy money like just by doing like a copy paste uh, business, right? I mean, once again, like if you're doing that, I'm not saying that's, you know, wrong, but like, you know, in this scenario, uh, I'm talking about uh, creating something, you know, new that uh, hasn't been done yet, right? So please understand that, you know, creating something, whatever it might be, like as a matter of fact, um, but like, you know, in this case in particular, it takes time. But the thing is, you know, sure it takes time, but you won't kind of suffer because you are still doing something that you enjoy doing. And deep down, you know that this is going to work out. I mean, like you should, right? Because if that's not the case, then maybe you should change, you know, the stuff that you're doing. Um, but in most cases, when you're truly following your dreams, when you're truly creating and building something that you really want to create, it, something like uh, that's, you know, something that is kind of a, a project, like, you know, your mission in life, or like, you know, something that you really want to create out of your heart, pretty much, you will have this feeling inside of you that no matter what, it is going to work out. You know, it will work out. You will succeed. You will achieve those things that you want to achieve. And when you have this feeling, you know, that once again, in most cases, you can only have and kind of experience when you're truly doing something that you love doing, like those, you know, this time that it takes to get to that point, it won't bother you as much because you will once again have this feeling deep down like, okay, no, I know this is going to work out. It just takes time, but I know it will work out eventually. And it's the same thing with me, you know, because you know, some of you might know, I kind of started like, you know, I got into this entrepreneurial space or like, you know, industry, like, you know, this world of business and, you know, entrepreneurs, like whatever you want to call it. Um, when I was like, wait, how, how old was I? Like, I mean, in 2018, so like, uh, like four or five years ago at this point, something like that. And the thing is, you know, I, <laughs> I started like several different things, like businesses, quote unquote, like, you know, ventures. Um, I tried out a lot of different things and every single time I feel like, okay, this one thing, this will work out. This is the thing that is meant for me. And so many times it didn't work out, you know, and I obviously I felt really, really bad. I'm not saying like, that like, you know, it didn't have any impact on me. I was like, yeah, okay, no matter what, right? I was feeling really bad. In fact, I was actually like, you know, I hit a very dark period of my life, like a, a hole, you know, in my life, if you want to call it like a, a dog hole. I hope you get what I'm saying. Um, that made me realize a lot of things. And I mean, like, you know, those things um, made me the person that I am today, actually. So for that, I'm really, really grateful. But what I'm trying to say is, once again, it takes time. I started 2018, back some, uh, some years ago. I tried out, you know, at the beginning, I tried out selling shoutouts on Instagram. I was building those, you know, Instagram theme pages. Um, like, actually, I had a like a, a page with quotes for girls, like, you know, memes for girls, because I had this belief that, okay, I can, you know, I can kind of build this following on this page and then I can build an online shop selling like, you know, cheap stuff from China, like whatever to girls, because in my head I was like, yeah, like, you know, teenage girls, they are way, way more ready to, to buy something from me, right? So that was my like master plan back then, right? Um, so yeah, it, it didn't work out pretty much. Um, then I had my uh, a few online shops. I, I tried out drop shipping. Uh, I guess most of you know what drop shipping is. Uh, you know, made some money with that, lost some money with that. Um, then like I tried out several other things. I, I don't remember um, exactly right now. And then I got um, oh yeah, actually one thing that is kind of funny because a lot of people are talking about yeah, you know, I always was this entrepreneur like uh, entrepreneurial guy. I when I was like five years old I sold lemonade or like something like that I mean I was a guy kind of you know I remember with my best friend when I was like 15 16 ish something like that uh, we ordered um, like this kind of ice cream that you can order on Amazon like you know this liquid ice cream kind of thing like very chemical very bad for your health obviously um, but I, I hope you you know what I'm talking about so we ordered that on Amazon and then we kind of sold it 
at a lake, you know, in Vienna, like uh, at the Danube, um, like at a river, should I say? <laughs> yeah, it's not a lake. Um, to to other people, like you know, enjoying the time in the sun for a way higher price, and you know. I was doing that as well. It wasn't my comfort zone, but anyways, I, I did that as well. By the way, like the police got called on us, but that's another story. Um, and then I also, you know, um, started my own agency. And with the agency, I have to say, I, I finally kind of seen my first initial and, you know, pretty big success in my eyes that really kind of got the ball rolling for me in this space. However, you know, I got to the point where I was making this money and like, you know, having one success after another and whatnot. But then I realized, okay, I think that's not for me, you know. This isn't the thing that, I'm, that I really want to do. It, it didn't really bring me happiness, you know. And that kind of brings us to this video, you know, to me doing Mind Plus right now full time, to really creating something uh, that started as a thought in my head, like, you know, that started as a thought in people around me, actually. Um, and that now kind of every single day gets more and more real, you know, even more people every single day uh, are getting attracted, you know, are joining the community and the program, you know, a lot of very, very exciting things are happening right now. Um, but I think you, you will um, see what I'm talking about in a very near future. Um, so yeah, and you know, what I'm trying to say to get back to the point, it takes time, you know, don't expect to immediately see like crazy success, like one week after starting out, because it can take time. But the thing is, once again, if you truly know that the thing that you're doing is the right thing, like this doubt won't have any impact on you because deep down you will still have this feeling of, yes, I know this is going to work out. And when you have this, like, you know, once again, like that's a crazy nice uh, like feeling and, you know, it gives you a lot of peace as well because once again, it can be very difficult sometimes. You will have a lot of ups and downs, but having this feeling, you know, this feeling of security, of inner security of, okay, I know this is going to work out. It gives you a lot of peace, you know, and room to think about with a clear mind pretty much and, you know, not get eaten alive by all those things pretty much. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this episode of Mind Boost. Once again, follow your dreams, whatever it takes. If you know you want to do something, if you know deep down this is the right thing to do, just go for it, you know. You have nothing to lose in most cases and you have nothing to fear because once again, the fear that we have nowadays is fake pretty much. So just, you know, go for it and do it if it truly makes you happy and if you truly feel like, yes, this is it, you know, just do it. Because even if, you know, even if, let's say somehow it doesn't work out, you know, then you still know, okay, I tried, you know. I know I tried it out, I tried out several things and then it didn't work out. And that's way better than never trying it out and you know, one day when you were like 80 or 90 years old, laying in bed, you know, you know, short like just before passing out, um, like passing away and thinking like, hmm, I wonder what would have happened if I would actually have started, you know, this business like this, whatever, right? So once again, just go for it, just try it out and just follow your dreams. That's the most important thing. And you know, that's like the key takeaway from this episode, I guess. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time once again. Thank you so much for watching if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you so much for listening if you're listening on Spotify. Uh, you know, don't forget to leave a like, leave a review or like, you know, leave, leave a, leave a, leave a, leave a, I'm sorry, leave a, um, rating and yeah, that's the word on Spotify leave a rating share it you know with your friends family like you know with whoever you feel like might benefit from this um, and yeah other than that thank you so much I wish you a wonderful day evening once again thank you so much for watching or listening follow your dreams and see you next time bye bye